All right, round one, we're going to keep this one. Only got a couple lands, but we are running 17, which makes me feel more comfortable with this keep. And we have a two drop, as well as a bunch of removal, so let's keep it. And we got the heel cutter for dashing if we get our third land, which is also good. I mean, I'd like to draw a swift spear here. Oh, not quite. But playing uh, aspirant as a piker seems acceptable. All right, team or charger it is. Let's uh, play the F read here. So not blocking team or charger. I want to get that aspirant online. Plus we have arc lightning, so it just makes sense to take this. All right, land here and we get that arc lightning. There it is. So we'll just nuke his, get some value. And it's an Abzan guide? Yeah, I'd say it's a pretty important card to take out. So I could have just taken another five next turn, but I didn't think that was the best idea. Now we can start tempoing him with Heel Cutter or get our Warning of Aspirin if he doesn't have a creature follow-up here. He does have a creature follow-up. So, maybe just putting the counter on it. All right, makes sense. May just start going to town on him with the heel cutter. May actually be better to just do the, take the trade, take our damage, play an aspirant. Can also play the heel cutter. Can also play the summit prowler. Jeez, all sorts of options. I think we're just going to swing and then I play a prowler. That sets us up the best for the heel cutter plan. Because then we can seven him if he just plays one blocker. Yeah. Much more cards in our hand as well. I think, yeah, yeah, this is just really good. So we get in for seven, and we get to follow up with another creature, which is quite nice. Double removal in hand, and we can play them both. So we can nuke the crew shock if it boils down to that. Okay, so interesting. One card left in hand. I think we just dash heel cutter, get rid of crew shock as a blocker, swing everything. He blocks. Yeah, yeah. That that should actually work pretty well. So he is going to block our heel cutter, I think. Um, and takes seven, and then he's going to die to Aerostorm the next turn. All right. Jeez. Double arrow storm. It's a better blocking idea. I like what he was thinking. All right, he's playing against Abzan. He does have Abzan Guide. That card's a problem. <laughs> um, deck played really well for us there, didn't it? That was sweet. Uh, yeah, Arc Lightning, MVP of that game, absolutely. Um, Heel Cutter, of course, follow-up MVP. He gets secondary, honorable mention. And Summit Prowler, excellent beater. All right, well, we don't have too many sideboard options. I think Bring Low is the real big one. Um, but that doesn't even work well against Abzan Guide. It does work, I, I would say, I mean, Bring Low is going to be best against Abzan, though. That That's a deck that's hinging on plus one, plus one counters, usually. We already saw an Outlast guy. There's a chance he's got some more, for sure. So I could see the argument for Bring Low. I still don't know what that last cut is, though, instead of that. Maybe on the draw, having more removals better. But I don't know. 
I do not know. I think we're going to keep it the same and, and just see how we do in game two here. Uh, the old one-lander. The old one-lander on the draw with a swift spear. And a two-drop follow-up if I draw a land. Uh, let me think about this. We have 16, 16 cards we can draw that benefit this hand. And we're on the draw. I, I'm pretty tempted to keep it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it. It's a greedy keep. I understand. But we're monocolor. We don't even need... Think about it. We don't even need... Uh, we just we we draw a land uh, next turn and we're golden. Oh, what am I doing? I got haste. I screwed up. He should be at uh, twenty at the moment. Oof. So now we have a uh, better than 50% shot. There it is. Now we just need a uh, land and we got Arc Lightning online and then we're looking much better. Oh, Siege Rhino? Well, that might be the end of us. Um, <laughs> and we missed our land drop. That's a problem. Uh, yeah, I don't think we beat Siege Rhino. I guess we just play an Aspirant and pass. Okay, maybe the one lander was a mistake. No, I actually don't think it was. Uh, 16 cards in your deck that you could have drawn. There was a very good chance we were drawing land. Ooh, he does have Arish and Cleric for us, too. Um, hmm. A little bit four drop heavy, no kidding. Hmm. This would be Arc Lightning. Can't really deal with the bond can. See, Drano's gonna be a tough one to beat. So Zabzan guide. And Watcher the Roost. Jeez, he's got a lot of life gain. Um, uh, hmm, what can I do? Yeah, this is where War Shrieker looks bad with the dash. Um, all right, I think I pass. Uh, I guess I can't. Let's guess I play Summit Prowler. This way I can at least trade with Rhino without taking trample damage. I'm gonna take two from the Watcher of the Roost, but maybe I can follow up with Bringlow to come back. He should swing with the cleric too, I think. If I were him, I would. Because my block is I, I can only do one block to kill Rhino, so he's going to force me to chump with the... Because the, I, can't, I can't block Prowler Instigator Rhino because of Trample. Or wait, no, I can. So then I can... Okay, I'm actually okay then. So we are going to lose two guys regardless, but we get to keep our Swift Spear. So 
We don't take any trample damage. Yeah, well, we definitely needed him to not have something there. Um, swing with Swift Spear, War Shrieker plus Bring Low, and we still die. Um, yep, I think that's it. We can't. Uh, we'll just pass, I guess, for Bring Low. All right, beaten down pretty aggressively there. That game could have gone a lot better if we'd drawn lands. Like I said, we had we had like a million draws we could have gotten land-wise. Six, 16 cards in your deck you can draw that benefit your hand. I say keep it. How many opportunities do you get to uh, in cons format where every land in your deck is of benefit? I think that that was not a great keep, but it was a, it was a fine keep. It just didn't pan out for us. And he had Siege Rhino on turn four to our mana issues, which never exactly where you want to be. Um, God, do I want this bring low? I don't even know. I still don't know what I want to bring it in for. I, I think we're fine. Let's, let's just try it again. Hopefully get a better hand. All right. Playing first. And oof. Well... I will keep it. I mean, we got our lightning. We have our land. No two drops. No three drops. Though is pretty rotten on the on the play, but it's certainly not worth mulliganing since we actually have a, a reasonable distribution of spells to oof to creatures. At least no two drop from him. Three drop, please. Non land. Oof. 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 All I can say is oof. Really wanted to apply pressure there. Scout, you're so late. I mean, Battle Rage is online now, so that's a good sign. And Arc Lightning can still potentially be good. Hmm. All right. Interesting. I guess we swing with Summit Prowler. See if he blocks, because we got the Battle Rage. If he doesn't block... Ruthless Ripper? Then we can Battle Rage. Teamer Charger. Now we're going to Battle Rage. He's got Long Shot Squad. So we'll let that resolve. Battle Rage. So it gets Double Strike Trample. That's huge. Um... Follow up with Mardu Scout. Pass. So now we just need a heal cutter off the top, and we're in pretty good shape. Sultai Flare is a good card for him to have, though. All right, Salt Road Patrol. It's a good brick there. Oh, let's see. I think we just play War Shrieker and pass. Can't really attack yet, but we are like a heel cutter away from having a decent attack at least. I wouldn't mind Whirling Outburst to make this collateral damage better. Wouldn't mind Jeering Instigator to steal a Sultai Flare and then pitch it at him. Sky Captain, sure. Opponent's got quite a few more cards than I do. Ooh, that's a good one. I mean, granted, he can bolster, but... We even get to... That's pretty sweet. I 
I think we're just going for the burn plan at this point. He's got trample too. So even if he blocks with Sky, he's not blocking. All right. Well, let's deal our five. And I think we're just going to collateral damage him. Because then he gets very close to dead if we draw either of our arrow storms. Lightning Shrieker collateral damage is pretty cool. Oh, wait. It doesn't shuffle back in. That's right. Why did I think it was if it died? It's just at the end of the turn. That's actually still okay. I mean, we are we draw an arrow storm, he's dead. That's really what it boils down to. Or a, uh, I guess he doesn't die to Wild Slash. He's going to Outlast? That'd be pretty bold. There's our arrow storm. Well, um, I think we're going to play it safe then. We're going to kill his morph because I fear it's an Absand guide. Oh, no. That sucks. All right. Well, that's like the last one we wanted to see, unfortunately. But... It's okay. Oh, I, f I need to see what he revealed. Uh, oh, Dagatar? That's a pretty good one. And Longshot Squad still in his hand. Opponent's got a good hand. We need to, as long as he doesn't uh, lose things and uh, gain life, I guess. All right. Oh, my God. No! <laughs> feed the clan. And I hate... The funny thing is I hated to feed the clan, too. That's such a bummer. Well, opponent was just too well prepared for us. He's just drawn... Unfortunately, in the top 16 cards of his deck, he managed to draw one, two, uh, three, four cards that, that gain him life. I would say that's a little bit too... Uh, a little bit too convenient for him and a little bit too inconvenient for us. But we certainly would have drawn uh, out of it had he not drawn every single uh, gain life spell in his entire deck. So big bummer there, but uh, that's okay. The deck was still fun. It did what it was supposed to do. I wish we could have won this, but I think it's pretty much over at this point. Our, our opponent's just out outdrawing us by so much. It's actually getting absurd at this point. It's it's got, It's gotten to absurd point for sure gotten absolutely absurd um guess we'll trade a war shrieker or a scout i don't want to trade my prowler because of the four power oh wait he can move counters yeah we're gonna lose everything that's right it doesn't matter we're gonna lose this game regardless he didn't even have to do that he could have just moved a counter and and blown us out so bad it would have wrecked everything we wanted to do Yeah, there's just zero chance of winning now. Act, ab, abs, actual 0% chance of winning. I could draw straight spells for the rest of the game, even though I'm not. I could draw straight spells for the rest of the game and have 0% chance of winning this game. That's that's just truth at this point. Absolute truth. But we drew well otherwise. Uh, hopefully in rounds 2 and 3, we don't have to play against a deck that, has, uh, that draws all of their life gain in the beginning. Because that's a big bummer and that's not going to work out well for us. Um... Let's just lose everything. It doesn't matter anymore. We can't come back. I actually don't know why I'm playing this anymore. Maybe just to see more spells. But yeah, it's over for sure. So kind of a bummer. Deck uh, would have played well for us, which is the real sad thing. Yep, more life gain, unfortunately, for us. Great top deck on my opponent's part, though. 
more life gain. So if my opponent hadn't seen every life gain spell and uh, we maybe not started on turn four with a creature, I think we actually would have done much better in this match. Um, but these things happen. You lose sometimes. You don't always win. We get a couple more rounds with our red deck win. So hopefully we uh, won't lose against the old uh, Feed the Clan, uh, Watcher of the Roost, uh, Abzan Guide, Erish and Cleric, Sultai Flare, uh, life gain deck. So hopefully do a little bit better here. Oh, and then, of course, after <laughs> after back to back lands, then we draw Instigator Wilds. That's funny. Uh, all right. We'll, uh, we'll see you in uh, round two.